Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome each and every one of you to a very new episode of the Digino series. This episode will be featuring the one and only Jace. This one did take longer than usual to make, so if you did enjoy, please do not forget to throw in a like. But without further ado, let's go straight into his abilities. Though it is mentioned within the tooltip, I feel most people forget that Jace's passive of switching forms also lets him ignore unit collision on top of the bonus move speed. The speed of Jace's Q in range form, by default, is only 1450, but it goes up to 2030 when it is shot through his gate, comparing it to someone like Morgana's Q, which only has a projectile speed of 1200. As expected, his Q, no matter if shot through the gate or not, will be stopped by Windwall from Yasuo and Braum's shield. However, there is a small exception to Braum because even though Braum can absorb the damage, any units too close to Braum will still take AoE damage. Even though his Q in melee form is a unit targeted dash type ability, it will not follow that unit if they were to flash away, nor will they take damage. In range form, his Q going through the gate gets an increase in range and damage. However, the position of the gate won't actually affect the distance increased, because the Q will still fly a set amount of distance assuming it is increased away from Jace. So putting the gate close to you or far from you again will not change the amount of distance the Q will gain. Spell Shield will block both Qs, it doesn't block both Ws, and it will block the E, but only the one in melee form, and neither of its auto attack modifiers thanks to his ultimate will be blocked. A cool thing is the fact that both of Jace's W abilities have zero cast time, not interrupting Jace's previous orders, and his ranged W is an auto attack reset ability as well. Since Jace's W in ranged form does modify his auto attack damage and speed, if one of those shots were to critically strike at rank 5, it would deal its damage, by default being 130%, of your AD times 2 for critical damage, which will equal 260% bonus damage. Since W in melee form gives back mana per auto attack, a neat trick is to use W in ranged form, switch to melee form, and then just whack away. It looks pretty cool too. Did you know that his acceleration gate can actually reveal fog of war, including brushes? The auto attack modifying buffs that Jace gets when switching forms thanks to his ultimate are avoided, but the effect still goes through if they were to be used on someone like Pantheon if he's blocking, Fiora if she's parrying, Jax if he's dodging, or Teemo blind. The buff gained in melee form from his ultimate can affect turrets in terms of damage, while the other one gained in ranged form cannot affect it at all. Tear of the Goddess is a very common item to get on Jace, but remember, even though he is very good at stacking it, spamming his ultimate to switch forms will not trigger a stack of the Tear of the Goddess, nor will it work with Cassidence E or Maokai's passive. Alright guys, let's go into some cool facts and lore about Jace. There were two designers for Jace, the first one being Feral Pony, who also ended up making Graves, Hecarim, Fizz, and Rumble. And the second designer someone named Hephaestophilus, who made Talon and Victor. His voiceover artist is someone named Trevor Duval, who has an extensive list of voiceover work. Apparently, Jace's production name was Apollo, which may be related to the Apollonian philosophical characteristics from Greek mythology, which talks about the human form and individuals being distinct, celebrating human creativity through reason and logical thinking, all of which seem quite relatable to Jace. A neat thing about Jace is that he was the 100th champion to be released for League of Legends. Following the trend of champions having a recall animation, he is the third to receive one after Darius and Draven. Riot apparently rewrote Jace's lore in regards to the rivalry between himself and Victor, after the community mentioned how the lore made Victor seem, in quotes, like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. And due to this, he is the second champion to have his lore rewritten due to the community, the first one being Shivana. And from this, let's go into his lore. Jace lives to protect Piltover. However, before this, he was just a talented young inventor. Piltover commissioned him to study a crystal, which Jace found out can be used as a vast energy source. 
Word reached beyond Piltover of this crystal, and Victor of Zon gave Jace an offer to work together to advance Victor's glorious evolution. After refusing, Victor knocked Jace aside, stole the crystal, and laid waste to the lab. After the Piltover government refused to act on this, Jace took matters into his own hands. He developed his Mercury Hammer, stormed into Victor's lab, and destroyed the crystal so no one can harness its destructive power while barely defeating Victor as well. He then returned home, now being seen as a hero. Next to Karma, Elise, and Nidalee, he is the second champion to be able to use his ultimate at level 1. Following that, he is one of 7 champions to have more than 4 skills, the others of course being Nidalee, Lee Sin, Elise, Karma, Heimer, and Nar. Yet he is the first to have technically 8 abilities, since his ultimate can count as 2. His dance, of course, refers to MC Hammer's famous dance from the song, You Can't Touch This. He may potentially be referencing to the Apprentice or the War Mage from Orcs Must Die. A potential resemblance could be Captain Hammer from a web series called Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog. Since both look somewhat similar, act similarly, are both heroes within their own respective cities, and have a nemesis who is an evil scientist. Did you know that Jace apparently wants to put his acceleration gate all over Piltover, though if it will actually happen is questionable since Piltover is unsure if they want people walking around at accelerated speeds. Jace's title is Defender of Tomorrow, which may resemble Superman the Man of Tomorrow since in a way they also share resemblances. Jace's quote Shocking. may refer to Goldfinger. Did you know that Jace and his rival Victor share the same quote? Pave the way. Pave the way. And his other quote, Hammer time. Most likely refers to the MC Hammer song You Can't Touch This mentioned earlier. Full Metal Jace is similar to Full Machine Victor. The skin may have slightly been inspired by the suit Samus Aaron wears, or it could be inspired from Iron Man since the voice is similar and the backstory is very relatable. The name of the skin, however, may refer to either Full Metal Jagged or the anime Full Metal Alchemist. He also shares this theme with Victor, Pantheon, and even Ramis. Debonair Jace was made for Valentine's Day of 2013. The suit worn may refer to Sean Connery's James Bond. He also looks awfully similar to Jean Dujardin, a French actor, director, producer, and comedian. And yes, I probably did pronounce his name incorrectly. This skin may potentially resemble Tony Stark as well, the man behind the suit in Iron Man, which can all make sense, since the backstories are pretty relatable, Full Metal Jace can refer to Iron Man himself, and Debonair Jace to Tony Stark, the man behind the suit. He shares this theme with Vi and Ezreal. Did you know that Jace is friends with Ezreal because he helped him get into a restricted library to learn more about a mysterious figure that we now know as Aatrox? He also sees Urgot as a terrible misuse of technology. He somewhat respects the genius behind Ziggs and Rumble. And finally, Heimer is influential towards Jace as Jace has benefited from his work. Alright guys, that unfortunately does mark the end of this episode of Digital featuring Jace. Quite a long one, so if you did enjoy it, please do not forget to throw in a like. And I'd also really much appreciate it if you guys can share it with your friends. On top of that, you can definitely write in the comments below if you want me to do a certain champion for the next episode, or if there's a cool theory or myth that you want me to go over, but make sure to provide a link. I'd also appreciate it if you guys can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All of them are Red Mercy, LOL. But as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.